Okay guys, I wanted to go through some news. As of course you guys know, Avengers Age of Ultron, I hoped for it to be for its opening weekend to surpass the first one, which was $207 million when it first opened. It opened at $188 million, which is the second highest grossing opening weekend. And while I was a little disappointed that it didn't make as that it didn't surpass the first one, I was still really I was still incredibly satisfied that it made a ton of money. But also I was a little I understood a bit because the sequel wasn't as good as the first one. The Russian accents were annoying as hell. But other than that, I thought the movie was really entertaining and it's very overstuffed. But still, it's a fun time with the movies. It's better than so many blockbusters that are probably coming out that are supposed like posted best of the year, like right? best blockbusters of the year, such as Terminator Genesis. The trailer, the new one, gave away the twist. It was so fucking stupid. That's the dumbest idea you ever put in a movie. You don't do that. Well, in marketing. Fuck the marketing today. It's so bad. Same for comedies. They give away all the funniest parts. Also, movies, trailers, they reveal too much of the plot. But there are some movies coming out I want to see, like, in this month. There are several. This week, no. Hopper Suit looks like shit. I don't want to see that. But the week after that one, like two weeks from now, Mad Max Fury Road comes out, which of course is the new, I think, supposed reboot of the original Mad Max trilogy, which was created by George Miller. And of course, it's once the new one looks amazing. It just looks like a blast. Amazing visuals and some awesome, cool, oddball characters and awesome sequences. It just looks like a blast. And also, it's being co written and directed by George Miller. So, why would you not be excited? Also, you have Tom Hardy and Charlie Theron, who have shown off that they actually can do action. Charlie Theron? I don't know if I have really seen her do that, but I knew Tom Hardy. I mean, he did Dark, The Dark Knight Rises, although you can really understand what he was saying. I still really love that movie. A lot of people actually do. Some people do hate it, but I loved it. Dark Knight's the best. Anyways, uh, also coming out on, I think, a week after Mad Max is Tomorrowland, which is the new Mar new Disney movie based on the theme park of the same name, directed by Brad Bird, written by him and David Lindelof. If you guys don't know David Lindelof is, he used to be a writer for Lost and several other works he did alongside J.J. Abrams. He also co-wrote Prometheus, directed by Ridley Scott, which is a prequel to the Alien series. I have not seen that, but I am hoping to watch it one day. Because I love Alien. I love 1 and 2, you know, Alien, Aliens. Fucking hate 3. I'm not sure if I'm seeing Resurrection, which is the fourth one. And I don't think I'm watching Alien vs. Predator because I heard those things were just god awful. Also, uh, another movie. Also, I think it's kind of it for now. I don't know any other movies that are coming out that month. But I do know there's also other movies coming out that I want to see. But, anyways, this is for the month for movies I want to see coming out in May. They just look awesome. I mean, they're almost anticipated the year. Why not? Tomorrowland, I hope, could be such a unique mystery sci fi thing. It looked cool. The visuals looked cool. Like what Tomorrowland was portrayed as. And although Bernie Robertson starred in a poorly received movie this year alongside Scott Eastwood, can't believe this guy selected that movie, The Longest Ride, and Nicholas Sparks movie, I'm not, I don't really care about Nicholas Sparks. I don't really care because one thing I find his movies is overrated. I've never really seen them, but to be honest, for what I've seen in the trailers and what I've seen in a couple scenes I've seen in videos I found on YouTube, it's incredibly sentimental and cliche. Other than that, also I heard some people hated it, like Austin Putnam gave uh, The Longest Ride. No, 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 no. The best of me, a 0.5 out of 5. Pretty sad, isn't it? Also, uh... Yeah. Also, if you guys have not known, I'm not looking forward to the Genesis, which is I think is coming out somewhere in June or July. I really gotta start getting up my facts. Um, it just doesn't look very promising. It actually looks like it could be pretty bad. I mean, even though it's directed by Alan Taylor, who made Thor The Dark World, although I heard that movie wasn't all that good, and I haven't really seen it yet. I wanted to, but I never got the chance to back in 2013, I was, uh, I'm very skeptical because this movie just could be awful, and to be honest, any Terminator movie that had the involvement, that didn't have the involvement of James Cameron turned out to be a disaster. Terminator 3 just, just put together the same story and just didn't remind, it didn't, for, and just didn't care about the fact that it had a major plot hole, since of course every, all evidence of Skynet was destroyed in 2, and knowing the fact that, that Skynet is surprisingly was being programmed in this one, I don't know. And the one directed by Mick G, what a horrible director, Terminator Salvation. Terminator Salvation had some cool effects, but the problem is they're so heavy on it. And also, it's not rated PG-13, it's not R. Oh my god. Not to mention the fact the movie was just so bad, and the trailer, oh, I never really saw it, and of course, I didn't really know about that until after I saw the movie. I looked at the video by Watch Mojo called the Top 10 Trailers that Ruined the Movie. It revealed the twist. There was a twist in the movie, revealed it, and that is just... Talk about a lack of faith in the film, and why not? It was awful. There was no story. There was no heart. No humor. It was just another bland action flick. 
that took it, that abused its license. Not to mention the fact I just found it incredibly boring, and the only thing it, the movie's ever really known for, if you haven't seen it yet, is for Christian Bale's freak out on set. And I think there was actually like a video on that, and it was pretty entertaining. This guy is so hard to work with. Why are so many hard actors to work with? Like Katherine Heigl, uh, Mike Myers, of course, Christian Bale. What the fuck? I'm surprised Katherine Heigl hasn't been run over yet. There's a Chris, Mike Myers, yeah, he's falling apart. Run over? Not yet, because I heard he made a documentary that was well received, so I guess he still has some kind of staying power today. Some relevance. And Christian Bale, he's one of the best actors I've seen around, working today. So keep him around. Just try to deal with him and hopefully not kill him or kill yourself. Yeah, Catherine Nigel though, fuck off. We don't care about you anymore. I liked you knocked up, but all the other stuff you started in is terrible. And to be honest, no one likes you. You bashed the movie that was your breakout role in film. Knocked up, one of my favorite comedies that came out in the 2000s, and it was so funny, I loved it. Directed by Judd, written directed by Judd Apatow, who's also making Trainwreck. I think it's coming out in June. I'm hoping that's good. I really, It's gotten some reviews so far, and I hope it's funny. It looks kind of funny, actually. And of course, like, it's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, guys, the, like, for the movies I want to see in May, that was it. With some unnecessary additional information, I'm just going to keep it because why the hell not? It's my decision. And if you want more, you can subscribe to my channel and comment below what, you're lo what, movies, you're looking, you're, what movies you're looking forward to. And also, like, uh, there's other, and, um, comment below and check back for more videos.